Hi guys and welcome to the Holy Paladin um, guide and reworks for Battle for Azeroth Alpha. Um, I'll be going through like my other healing guides. I'm going to be going through the dungeon healing talents and then the raid healing talents. Like I've said in my previous Paladin videos, Paladins have not been changed a lot from um, Legion. And they're basically the same as they were. There's been a few tweaks and changes to um, Paladins and a few uh, holy paladins and and I'm going to be going through that. So for my dun for my first set of talents, it's the same again. Crusader's might, bestow faith, and light hammer. I like taking light hammer due to the fact it deals damage to enemies and it heal heals allies. Paladins mostly want to be getting in the front line so that their mastery bonus is healing everyone. So paladins basically want to be attacking targets with their judgment and their holy shock. So having the extra light hammers put down and heal everyone is just really, really good. The next one you want to take is Rule of Law, due to the fact that it's going to increase your healing by a lot, whereas Unbreakable Spirit and Cavalier aren't going to increase your healing, whereas um, Rule of Law actually will, because your mastery is hitting more and more targets. So it's really, really good. Next one is obviously down to you. Like I said in my um, Protection Paladin video, I like taking Blinding Light, due to the fact I can just blind all the targets and just help everyone out. Just give them a bit of resting time by just um, uh, by by dazing all the ads. So for your next one, Aura of Mercy, Aura of Sacrifice, and Devotion Aura. I always like taking Aura of Sacrifice due to the fact that it works so well with um, Blessing of Sacrifice, and I can easily heal myself up quite quite well, and I don't really have to worry about anyone else. So that's why I take Aura of Sacrifice. So next, you have Holy Prism, Holy Avenger, and Divine Purpose. A lot of people are saying that Holy Prism is really good, but I just don't see the effect of it. Due to the fact it's so much mana, 680 mana is a lot now. It's not really worth it, or it's Divine Purpose. So Light of Dawn and Hershock have a 15% chance to not start the kill and make their next cast free. It just increases the mana you're, you're keeping and increases the healing output you've got. Holy Prism is good, but the cast the, the cooldown is long and it's really mana intensive. So that's why I take Divine Purpose over Holy Prism. So next you have Judgment of Light. Judgment now applies Judgment of Light to the target, causing the next 40 successful attacks against the target to heal the attack for 56. Sanctified Wrath, Avenging Wrath lasts 25% longer and also reduces Holy Shock's cooldown by 50% for its duration. And Fervent Martyr. I like taking Fervent Martyr due to the fact I use Light of the Martyr a lot. And with this in increased I can use all of my spells in one go. So if I use Flash of Light on the target or a Holy Light, my next Light of the Martyr is going to reduce the um, cost to me. So if I've used up four, like I have now, used the, the max four stacks, let's reduce the damage Light of Martyr is doing to me by 100%. So I'm literally not going to be taking damage. So even if you get one cast off, it's going to reduce the damage you take from Light of the Martyr by 75%, which is just really, really good. Um, next one, Beacon of Faith, Beacon of Light Ringer, and Beacon of Virtue. I like taking Be Beacon of Virtue for dungeons, especially due to the fact that Beacon of it will just hit all your all your members. So you're going to be healing all your members up quite a lot. It's kind of like a a worse shaman um, ascendance, and that you're going to just be healing all your targets who have virtue on. Um, I don't really like Beacon of Faith due to the fact you're not really going to be healing like just only two targets in a dungeon. You're going to be healing five, so. DPS can maybe take a bit of damage from a spell, you're going to take a bit of damage from a spell, and so is the tank. So that's where I take Beacon of Virtue. So now for, for, for raiding talents, what I like to do is I like to take Crusader's Might. Due to the fact I'm going to spend a lot of time in the melee attacking the boss. So it's really good to get Crusader's Might. So that I'm going to be using um, Holy Shock loads, Crusader Strike loads. It's not my bars at the moment because I'm stupid. But it should be there. So I'm going to be using Crusader Strike loads, Judgment loads, and Holy Shock. Uh, next one, you want to take Rule of Law again, due to the fact your mastery is going to reach your um, reach the range as well as the melee. So that's why you want Rule of Law. Next one's down to you again, but obviously on raid bosses and stuff like that, this won't matter. You won't be able to really use it. Next one for raids, you want to be taking Devotion Aura, due to the fact that reduced damage is just so 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 good for you. And I've seen recently on the Alpha that Aura of Sacrifice, it's make it's getting um, some some palas being one shot. So I don't know if that's intentional or not, but I've been taking Devotion Aura because there's a quite a few Paladins being one shot. So that's my reasoning behind that one. And a Holy Prism, obviously, like I said, only heals five nearby allies and 680 mana. It's just, it's just not good. 
Next, what you want to take is um, Judgment of Light. Uh, no, Sanctified Wrath, sorry. Sorry about that. Due to the fact that Avenging Wrath lasts 25% longer, and when you're inside that, your Holy Shock has a reduced cooldown. So you can be spamming that on the target, getting your mastery being used, and just be hitting the target of Holy Shock and other targets with it. And obviously using Crusader Strike so that your Holy Shock has an even more reduced cooldown. So you can literally just be spamming Holy Shocks. So you can be a little minigun of Holy Power, just healing everyone up with your Holy Shocks. So yeah, that's the reason behind that. And I always take Beacon of Faith in Rage due to the fact you mostly take a Paladin for um, for the healing of the tanks. And that Paladins can heal the tanks so, so well. Put one Beacon of Light on one tank and a Beacon of Faith on the other one. And you're just healing so, so much with the tanks. Add it in with your mastery and that you're going to be standing in the melee near the tanks. Casting Judgment and um, Crusader Strike. It's just really, really good to take Beacon of Faith. Because you're going to be healing the tanks loads. You've got really, really good just healing on target. Paladins are just the best at, in uh, BFA. Like, how much healing I'm doing now with these spells. Like, 5k crit of um, Holy Light and Divine. Uh, Holy Light and stuff like that. And Flash of Light. As you can see, the procs is really, really good. So, it's critting really high. So, Holy Power in, 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 AOE, in AOE heals, it's just not looking that good at all. But in... Single tar target heals, it's looking really, really good. So for dungeons, Holy Palace will be decent due to the fact they can heal up targets really, really quickly. to full health. But in raids, they'll lack uh, underneath uh, the shamans and the monks who have obviously got superior AoE heals. But yeah, that's it for Holy Pala. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And if I missed out anything out, comment what I missed and I'll try and reply to everyone. And yeah, see you in the next one.